Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 75. And I'm your host, Terry Davis. So, let's see where we are. We are in the demo pick. So, when we uh, run this, it says, it lets us grab the, the apple. And if you look carefully, it will tell us what sub-element is Okay, um, element 23, element 2, element 2, and it's telling the distance squared, I guess, to the sub-element. I'm not sure. So these are made up of vectors, and this is telling the, uh, the individual vector number. I don't know why it's so crazy. But it does allow that. Um, I guess it was not very hard to add. So uh, if we look at the apple, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see um, over here there are one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, up to the I don't know, twenty-five. Um, vectors and so that's what it's printing is the uh, sub vector so I guess let's go through this we do the standard settings push settings pop once you do that you can start changing stuff like clearing the window changing the uh, the dry callback the window inhibit window inhibit is when you start click clicking stuff you don't want uh, let's say there was a link on the on the text background you wouldn't want it to activate so this turns off links and stuff like that um, we have a draw it okay then in the main loop we uh, we get a message the messages we everything gets thrown out except key down and left button down and if it's key down, then we we go ahead and jump to the exit. You don't want to jump out of a you don't want to go to out of a try. You have to stay within. So we uh, we get the key up. We have to get the key up. Otherwise, the key up would happen after we exit, and that would be bad because the escape would get forwarded to the um, command line and kill it. So, uh, so if it's a, so if it's, if it's a key down, we exit. Otherwise, if it's a left button down, then we get the current X, Y off of global variables. We could have taken them from the, uh, the args. I don't know why I didn't use the arg. Anyway, record the old X, Y. Wait a minute. I think we're trying to find the best apple um, distance. Okay, so, oh, we're, no, we have to hold the button down and carry it. Oh. Where do we print the um, element distance squared? Oh, we... We set a buffer that get, that gets printed in the uh, in the uh, draw it callback. So we we set some text. This is kind of squirrely, and it's the element number and the distance. Okay, well, old distance, best distance. So the old distance is so that we the old x y is so that we can move it. So we can move it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, as long as it's not a key down, we're going to, if it's key down, we bail out. If it's move or left up, okay, we decided not to use the args. We're using the global variables for x and y. Arg1 is x, arg2 is y relative to the window. IP position x is L absolute screen address and I... So this is setting, okay, so best is the current apple, 
and we are adjusting the XY of the current apple um, we record the starting point and we give it an offset um, so uh, how did we manage to figure out best or how did we manage to figure out Kerr Apple that's a mystery how did we get that so I'm figuring out Kerr Apple inside the dry it oh that's kind of squirrely so uh, I go through the apples I calculate when I draw it I get the distance from Kerr XY I get I think I get the distance what do I do I get the, I set Kerr XY for the device context and then this the draw it you know maybe I want to get rid of this but it's kind of deluxe so right now the sprite draw when it goes into its individual vector drawing then it um, each one of these plots this is like for plot a point each one of these plots in in the graphics API for device context um, it uh, records the uh, locate nearest you see this thing right here flag locate nearest that calculates every time it draws anything it if the locate nearest is set it sets the uh, the element number and the nearest okay so that was the device context nearest element was set here and where did we set the locate nearest flag oh we set the locate nearest right here so that set the locate nearest for the device oh you know that's pretty crazy but whatever anyway um so that's how that works